hello, and it's good to be back. Uh, I have been absent on uh, line for a few months. I guess summer was busy, and uh, I set it aside for a while to to reflect and contemplate on what the next uh, step would be. So anyway, I'm back, and it's Thursday. I plan to be here with you on Thursdays in uh, early afternoon just with a noonday prayer and share some thoughts and prayers with you and to um, just give uh, a reflection on a devotion that I've read through the week or in the past over the summer, something that I feel will uh, make a difference uh, and help if it's needed. So today we're going to do a noonday prayer taking, taken from Forward Day by Day. I'm going to share with you a devotion taken from the book Strength for Today by David Jeremiah. And we're going to have prayers and give thanks. We are nearing the end of the season of creation and beginning Thanksgiving, our time of Thanksgiving for this amazing place that we live and for the opportunities that we have and for the bounty of harvest at this time of year. We certainly remember and uh, pray for the people that have been so affected by Hurricane Fiona and we do give thanks that uh, we had very little damage here in our part of the Maritimes and that we survived it uh, with very little power outages and safe. But we remember the people of PEI and Sydney and Cape Breton, Newfoundland, and we pray with them and for them for the recovery from this horrific uh, hurricane that hit them. So now let's just quiet our hearts and uh, prepare ourselves for a time of worship. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where is my help to come. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The devotion for today is, is um, based on the scripture from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for godly life. Through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Many parents worry about raising children in our society today, and all of us struggle with remaining pure in a decadent culture. These are daunting times, but remember we aren't alone in the effort to live a godly life. God's divine power gives us everything we need and these resources come through our knowledge of him. What does that phrase mean, our knowledge of him? It means learning more about God as we see his handiwork in creation and study. His message in scripture, we become learners. Don't assume you know everything there is to know about God and his word. The Bible requires a lifetime of study. There are truths you've not yet discover, discovered promises you've not yet claimed, and aspects of God's character you've not yet fathomed. But the knowledge of God means more than simply knowing more about him. It means knowing him more. 
more intimately, more personally, which comes through daily communion with him in prayer and in the word. Let's be quick to say thank you, Lord, for meeting all my needs, including my need for godliness in an ungodly world. I realized after reading that that um, it's wonderful to be able to say you're still learning. And uh, I certainly am still learning more and more about God and more and more about what he does for us by spending time in prayer and reading the word. And sometimes uh, we get confused in praying to God about different things, but especially we go to God praying for what we want, what we think we want, when God truly gives us everything that we need. Sometimes our wants and our needs are very different. We try to separate them, we try to be good people, good stewards and, and all of that, but sometimes our wants creep in there when really we should be just concentrating and praying about our needs. Our need to know the Lord Jesus Christ better, the need to know God better, and as it says in here, let's be quick to say thank you to the Lord for all of the needs that he is meeting for us. We need to be godly people, to be able to share God's word, to be able to take it to others, to be able to live our life as good as we possibly can. It's not easy in a world in today with everything that is there that's made available for us that we don't necessarily want. Maybe we think we want it, but we don't need it. God is really all that we need. If we allow him to fill us with his love and his compassion and his kindness, he will open our hearts and give us his grace to live a good and godly life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in the noise and confusion of life, we pray for peace in our hearts. In these few moments of stillness, stillness, we bring before you our prayers, asking for help and guidance as we journey through our earthly life and giving thanks and praise for our many blessings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for your church today, gathering all around the world in tiny churches and great cathedrals to praise you to hear your holy word and to meet you in bread and wine. Give us a sense of expectation as we come and inspiration as we go. Help us to put our differences behind us and unite instead behind the great commission of Jesus to make disciples of all nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray for peace in the world that every nation may seek the way that leads to peace, that human rights and freedoms may everywhere be respected and the world's resources be ungrudgingly shared. At this harvest time, we acknowledge that all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Help us to receive them gratefully, to use them wisely, and to share them unselfishly as good stewards of your bounty. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we pray for ourselves. Give us this day the eye that is willing to see the meaning of the ordinary, the familiar, the commonplace, to see our own faults for what they are, to see the likable qualities in those we may not like, to recognize the mistakes in what we thought was correct, to understand the strength in what we labeled as weakness, Help us to entrust the past to your mercy, the presence to your love, and the future to your wisdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we raise before you all who are sick or dying, 
all who are suffering or in sorrow. Grant to all who are living in error or ignorance or sin the grace of repentance. We pray for those in our parish and our community who are sick or suffering at this time. We pray for Gary, Emily, Cameron, Alex, Alita, Audrey, Beatrice, Betty, Dominic, Peggy, Floyd, Lowell, and Joan. And in silence, we remember any known personally to us. In your goodness and mercy, grant them health of body, soundness of mind, and peace of heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, onto your hands we commit those who have run the race and kept the faith, even if that faith was known only to you and now have gone to their reward. May your light shine on them forever and our lives be richer because of their memory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, who in your wisdom has so ordered our earthly life that we must walk by faith and not by sight. Grant us such faith in you that amidst all things that pass our understanding, we may believe in your fatherly care, that you will give us what we need and never be strengthened, and ever be strengthened by the assurance that underneath are your everlasting arms. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And together we will say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being here with me, and I look forward to returning next week and uh, being with you again. Have a great week. God bless you.